All right, today I'm going to do a video on installing a deluxe light kit um, on a Yamaha, either G29 or Drive, they're sometimes called, same thing. Um, I've got the front started here. Uh, so what I did was I put some masking tape um, where I needed to, where I'm going to need to do the cutouts for the light. And you get this template here that comes with it. Uh, you have to cut it out. Um, and then on this side here, as you can see, you line it up. You line it up with this curve right here in the bottom. And uh, you, you draw your lines that you you need um, and that's supposedly where you need to cut never done one of these before so this will be the first time so hopefully I don't have to do any retakes as I go along here uh, this is the other side just flip it around um, and use the opposite side um, of the paper uh, to do the left side um, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut those out and we'll go ahead and get started here all right so this is what I ended up with I didn't want to cut out as much as it told me to. I didn't really see a reason. Uh, when I looked at the back of this light, um, you know, really you have the main light that goes in. I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I had left room for this wire. The other thing I noticed um, was actually right here in the center of your screen, that little pop out. Um, I had to cut up because that was, that was uh, touching um, right up in this area. So I cut that out as well. You know, I never know when I'm going to have to replace these lights. Uh, if they'll still be available, if it'll be a different one. Uh, so I didn't want to cut out more than I had to. Um, cut out a little bit less over here. I'm going to go back and cut out that top section uh, where that little push out was on the light that I showed you. Uh, just to even them both up so I have uh, uh, so I have everything sitting even. All right, now I have the, uh, the left there. Well, I guess this would be the left and the right um, all lined up and ready to go. Uh, you can sort of put them in there and then sort of reach behind and feel and make sort of figure out what's touching where and make sure everything's sitting flush. Um, they don't seem to match up perfect with the, the contour. I think I'm going to have to play a little bit of games with the, uh, the screws when I put them in to try and suck it a little bit tighter um, towards the uh, fascia. So one thing I should mention, what I used to cut with is here just a, a Craftsman. Some people refer to it by as a Dremel um, rotary tool. Um, with a bit like that. That did pretty well. Uh, made quite a mess as you can see here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is probably peel off the the tape. I'll cut the back tail lights in and then we'll start with the wiring. Back. Uh, golf cart's pretty messy but uh, pretty dirty but oh well. Um, this I just want to sort of show you how I lined this up. So it seemed to be, you know, they had a cut out along the bottom here and that seemed to line up best. Sort of when I brought this corner over, sorry, I brought this corner over to here. It sort of lined this side of the paper up with the the start of the the radius around the corner there. Probably cut it out a little small at the beginning, just to make sure everything looks about right. Let's try and fit some stuff in, see if it looks right. If it looks right, then I'll go ahead and go uh, go a little larger and, and keep moving out. You can always cut off more, but I, I can't really glue it back on. So start off small and keep working our way bigger. So I cut the hole for the tail light out. Um, I think I actually had to go a little bigger actually this time than their uh, than what their cutout was. Um, actually, go a little bit further down here, and then as well, I went a little bit higher up in here. Just felt like it was touching. And what you can do is there's a little flap in here. Sort of install it. Reach your hand around back in there. Sort of feel where it's touching. Just keep you know cutting it away until you really get a, a decent fit. Uh, I feel like I have a decent fit now, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so we got the cutouts all done. Uh, it looks like the kids were down at the beach and got this a little sandy, but what we're gonna go ahead and do, um, we're gonna start to, to fish in some of the wiring and, and uh, start to lay out the wiring. Um, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pull off this mat here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll pull these clips out here. It'll go all the way around. We'll also pull out the cup holder here, um, which is, I believe, just this one screw. Uh, that should give us access to start fishing some of the wiring through and, and we'll go from there. All right, so we got the wiring harness all laid out on the uh, uh, driveway here. Just had a storm, so it's a little wet and a little, uh, some leaves everywhere. But one thing that I found unfortunate with this uh, kit is that they really didn't do a good job of labeling everything. Um, so you can see I went through and labeled the brake 
Uh, this, let's see, this is the lamp switch as they call it. Uh, the horn here. And so what you can do is just sort of lay it out. Take this wiring diagram. Um, and you can see it'll give you the colors right here. So P2 is a purple and P3 is a black. Go over here, P2, P3, purple and black. So that's gonna go to the horn. So you'll see here, purple and black right there. And I have that labeled as horn. I'd go ahead and do that one before you get started. Um, I have everything labeled here. Um, front left, front right. Um, as well, you'll come over here. Uh, rear left, over there, I should say rear right. Um, and then this right here is gonna go into the main harness. It's gonna come off of the steering wheel um, that we'll install here in a bit. All right, I wanted to go through what I've done so far with the wiring. Um, you can see here, pulled this piece off, put these brackets in. It came with these little foam pieces. I assume they go here, probably supposed to have one on each side. I couldn't get one on each side, so I just have, have it where I'm gonna have the metal against metal. Um, I have the wire coming down through here. This piece I did have to cut down. I just used an angle grinder with a cutting wheel. Probably way overkill, but it worked. Um, and then what I had to do is I had to sort of remove this piece and this piece. So this piece right down here, there's another one of those pop rivets. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. There's a pop rivet right at the top there. Uh, then two um, screws, that went here and here, and two more pop rivets right here and here. These pop rivets, see they have a little top on them? You can actually just push them down and then uh, pull them out. So you push the little center piece down on them and then you can pull them out. Um, what I did was I started over here. I actually fished, I took the computer. This is the computer part. I took that off just to make it easier. I'll plug that back in here in a second. And I, I sort of fished it in over here and brought it across, this piece comes up once, so this piece comes up once this piece isn't there, and sort of fish it down across, and now it's all lining up inside here. So I'll go ahead and plug the computer in and start with more wiring. All right, I wanted to go through uh, here now. I have everything pretty much installed. Uh, we've got the lights on the front. They're pretty much ready to go. Maybe need to hand tighten down some of the screws. Got the lights here on the back. Ready to go. The whole thing probably needs a, a quick wash, but we're gonna go through a few things here. So, um, I did a few things different uh, than uh, what you might normally do. Um, I already had these toggle switches installed here, and I wanted to use those rather than the switches that came uh, with the unit. So, they had a, uh, a red switch. I'll show you right here. They had a red switch um, that's for. Uh, basically hazard lights or four ways. Um, I already had that toggle switch so I went ahead and used that. I just pulled it off and uh, pulled off the one that came with it. So this red one here and uh, just hooked it up to the toggle switch I already had there. Then as well there's supposed to be a push-pull switch uh, for your your running lights so your lights at night. It didn't come with my kit which I was fine with because uh, like I said I already had these toggle switches installed so I just hooked it up to the toggle switches that I had um, and I'm going to run it that way. And I got a bit of a rat's nest down here because I had some other things hooked up and I unhooked those. Uh, but what you can see here is you can see the, the wiring harness that came with it. Um, this is the computer. Uh, this is this yellow gray here. Uh, that's the four ways that I unhooked. Um, this right here is the lamp switch, so that's to turn on your, your basically the lights at night. Um, down in here, it might be hard to see. Let's see. I hooked up the horn. Uh, there's a hole already there that I used. It didn't come with the hardware to actually attach the horn to the cart. I just used some hardware that I already had. One thing I should mention is that uh, the plated, maybe call it brass colored. Um, bracket that did come with it. There's two of them um, you can sort of see there. I had to use both of those otherwise the nut on the bottom of the horn would not tighten down um, and then you can see I uh, went ahead and attached the, the horn there um, from the wiring harness and there you can see it works. Um, I ran the, the wiring harness down um, underneath here. Sorry if you can see here. Basically down along the 
the frame that runs right here. After doing it, if I did it again, I might actually try and run it through this area that's open. Uh, I didn't try it, so I'm not sure if there was enough spacing to get it in here. I did run the brake um, switch, or pedal, whatever you want to call it. I drilled a hole right here. It's sort of bright out here today. Drilled a hole right there, um, brought it through, um, and connected it. One thing I should note that is noted in the instructions is that this black wire is not needed. Um, I screwed the, it's a little dirty already, I screwed the brake uh, switch in place. Um, I used my own screws, I had these, I liked them a little better than the screws that came with it. Um, had to pre-drill uh, this metal plate there, not sure if that's a aluminum or what it is, but had to pre-drill and then put some self-tapping black screws that I had. Uh, actually from a fence that I built um, to hold the brake pad uh, down in place. Uh, so like I said, I brought the, the frame underneath here. I brought the wiring harness up along here. Um, and you can see it sort of came in right down there. Uh, this smaller piece here, uh, this is what comes in here and hooks up to the battery, which I need to clean off. Um, and the other piece, some playing games here. I don't know if, we can, if you can see it. Basically comes uh, right along here. This is one rear tail light that I ran up along here, attached here. Um, and then the other one came up along here. And I attached it up underneath here. And then again, uh, ran it around over here and attached it there. Um, and then just ran those both to the back and they are now attached uh, to, the, to the rear lights. Um, all the lights work. Um, from this piece, you know, right up here, so I can turn them on, um, turn signal one way and the other. Uh, one thing when I first got it that was a little difficult for me, I didn't realize how to take this piece off, it actually just pulls. So if you're trying to, I was looking for clips or something, it just, it just pulls right off. Alright, so here's the final results at night. Little glare, they're, they're pretty, pretty bright enough. Um, in the back here, you can see the tail lights. Really, the picture doesn't show quite how bright they are, but they're, they're, they're pretty bright. And then we'll go ahead and we'll turn on the turn signal. And we'll just put on the four ways. See, see the back. So I think it turned out pretty well. Um, the only downside I would say is the fitment on some of the pieces. You know, maybe there's a, I don't know, a, a three sixteenths, maybe maybe a quarter gap in some places. But honestly, unless you're up close, you really you really can't see it. Um, so overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching.